in this video we are going to see the expressions in php uh, that can be a mathematical expression relation expression and so argument expressions we are going to see that first we will see the mathematical operations so an example say for example you know how to declare a variable let us say dollar x is a variable to that we have assigned uh, we have done some mathematical operations 3 plus 4 so here you can do like a calculator so let us see an example of this php here uh, we have open quotes and close quotes are started now we have declared a variable called x y z and for x 3 2 and then uh, in z we have added so while adding also you have to it has to be preceded by dollar so it says that it's a variable then we print the value which is uh, which will be the, the output is stored in z and that we have printed. so you'll get the value this will be a output now uh, so what are all the arithmetic operators that we are going to see now these are all the it has many types of operators some of the operators which we are going to study in our php mainly for this semester is this other than this also is that but we will see the maximum usage so they are arithmetic operators array operators assignment operators bitwise operators comparison operators execution operators incrementing decrementing operators uh, logical operators and string operators first we will see the about the arithmetic operators arithmetic operator so here arithmetic plus minus multiplication symbol that is star and then this is slashes for division and then this is for modulo more then this is for negation uh, that is negative value and then a or p here it is for concordation now if you see that the examples are given here for this 2 plus 2 we get the answer if x is having 2 and y is having 2 so we get this value so likewise you have to see this table so 5 minus 2 you can do that multiplication this is division and mod 2 mod will return only the uh, remainder portion so when you uh, divide 5 by 2 you would be having 2.1 that so is remainder is 1 so that is what it returns so a mod operation will return the remainder of a division so here the same thing when you divide mod 10 by 2 you give 5.0 so that's what it is returned then negation uh, just simply uh, finding the negative value then in concordation imagine two that is the uh, two strings are concordated and you will get the output as like this so all this concordation already we were we are using in our echo statements and all so there we use the dot operator then comes the assignment operator assignment operator is assigning value to a variable so if y is a value or y already has some value y let us imagine y is a variable then we can assign that to another variable by using assignment assignment statement is nothing but equal to symbol so here uh, we can write like this also say x equal to x plus y can be since these two variables are same this can be returned like this x plus so you what you have to do is you have to write the com this symbol before this equal to so plus equal to y is equal to x equal to x plus y like this you can write so here again the same as these two variables are same so x equal to x minus y so that can be written minus equal to the same way here all these operators can be written like that which you've been studying from c c plus plus etc so here mod operator x mod y but this can happen only when the left hand side you have a variable and to the right hand side you also have the same variable type and here likewise a equal to uh, a dot b can be written as a dot equal to b which means when you expand this it is equal to a equal to a dot b now we'll see the incrementing and decrementing operators here plus plus since uh, before the variable the plus plus comes we say is pre-increment so increments x by one and then only it returns the x. So before displaying this value, it increment and it gives. Whereas here, if you give an echo statement of this x plus plus, first x value will be printed. After that, only it increments. So returns x, then increments x by one. We'll see a small example of that. Uh, now, uh, 
minus minus it means it is decrements uh, here this is a pre increment and here pre decrement and this is post decrement uh, sorry post increment and this is post decrement so now we will see with a small example uh, of this so here we have uh, we are declaring a variable called x equal to 1 and x plus plus okay we are incrementing this that is what we have seen x plus plus post increment so we will see how this x behaves so it is printed now after the auto -remember. by this time when it comes here it is incremented so echo is given after the post increment only so now the value you can write after one you will have two i just show you the output also okay, this is the output of this program here initially x is one x plus plus so x becomes two and then only we are giving echo so here we have two it is printed then x decrement decrement that is post decrement here also again after this operation is done only we are giving an echo so here it is decremented 2 is decremented and becomes 1 now pre increment x equal to 5 let us have a value called same for dollar x we are again another value x equal to 5 pre increment we will see how it works so pre increment is plus plus x in this echo statement itself we are doing that so what happens uh, uh, first uh, see here pre increment it has incremented before printing this value itself it will increment and then only it will display that's why x equal to 5 but it prints a value of 6 then value afterwards is also remaining the same after that it will not increment whereas the post increment okay, so by the time when it comes here it, the value is 6 so when you say post increment here we are printing it is not incrementing to 7 and then print it just print even if you have given x plus plus first it prints a value to store before incrementing then after when it comes uh, after the statement is executed this gets executed x plus plus so increment and here you see that is the main difference between the pre increment and post increment so before doing the operation itself uh, when you give this it will be incremented but here after that only it will increment that's the main difference between a pre and post increment okay now we'll see the other operators comparison operator so comparison operator is uh, it's equal to la relational expressions relational operators in other languages here we call it as comparison operator it is nothing but relational operator so if you want to check whether the value stored in x equal to y then you can give w equal to okay so here if you have an example 5 equal to y it returns false because they are not equal then if it is 5 is equal to 5 then it returns true then this is identical true if x is equal to y if x is equal to y and they are of the same type data type also same then it will give the answer true but here what we are checking is 5 equal to we are checking it with string even if here 5 is the numerical here we are checking with an even if the value or change the data type is different so it returns false but if the data data type is also same then it returns true that is the difference between double equal to one this is triple equal to then x not equal to y so here if 5 is not equal to 8 it is true so it returns a true value then yeah this is uh, this is one not equal to then another not equal to we have this this you have to write two anchor symbol like this that is greater than less than symbol so it is also uh, if it is not equal to it returns to else false then x is not identical true if x is not equal to y or they are not of the same type so it's same way like how it executes for this we have this not equal to not double equal to you have to give then x greater than true if f5 is greater than 8 then it returns false so this is a greater than less than symbol so this is also the same then greater than or equal to here it will check whether it is greater than it will not check whether it is equal to but here we have greater than or equal to so uh, there is a difference here so for example if you have left hand side 5 and right hand side also 5 then this greater than or equal to y will return true whereas here uh, since it is 5 and it is 8 definitely 5 is not greater than so it returns false the next is logical operator what we have seen previously is relational operator 
now logical operator using and or and all. so x and y that is combining two equations if the first equation and the second equation both combine together it may evaluate some answer so here let us see this example x equal to 6 and y is equal to 3 we have assigned if x is less than 10 and y is greater than, this is one relational operator and this is another relational operation in order to combine those and take a decision we use the logical operators so here we want to know whether if x is less than 10 and y is greater than 1 yes here if you see this this is returns true because x is less than 6 whereas here yes this is also true so when both are true you have true so this is similar to our and operation in a digital where when both are true only it returns true if any one of this is false it returns false then x or y here if any one of this is true that is enough for the output to be true if, if both are false only you will get a false so here x equal to 6 and y equal to 3 okay but this is true but this is not true but still as i told you if any one of this is true you will get the answer as true that is what the r then x or if either x or y is true but not both so any one of them must be true when both are true it will not be the answer will be false so here x equal to 6 y equal to here this is also equal and this is also equal so it returns false as i said both should not be true if both are true then it returns false any one of them is false and the one is true then it returns true that is similar to our xor operations then uh, this is double ampersand a true if both x and y are true so when both are, it is similar to it. and in here we are typing the english statement a and d but instead you can use the double ampersand what it is so both are equal whatever i have explained is uh, for this also so the same and operation likewise for operation instead of or you can give this symbol double pipeline symbol then not equal to so not equal to is you have to have the opposite a true if x is not true so here x equal to 6 and y equal to 3 here what we do is it x equal to y no it is not so not true so if this is not true if whereas if x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 6 then it returns true here so if not true then only it returns true but here it is both are different so here it returns false according to our assignment operator here sorry relational operator if both are y then it returns true if both are equal so here what happens here it is not equal so it returns false so not false means not true now it returns a true negation okay the next is an array operator array operator when it comes to array operations i'll explain this uh, we'll come to this and i'll explain more clearly but simply we will see what is this array operator so let us consider x is one array and y is one array another array in other languages you have to write coding in our first you have to copy the array uh, x and then you have to copy uh, y uh, so both together you can form one array so other than x and y you can have to declare an array another array called z and in z array from uh, you have to copy all the values of x and then after the x you have to copy y that is called addition uh, that is union but here it is not like that there is no need for loop writing and all. you just give x plus y x, let x be an array and y be an array both will be combined and form one array so here we check whether the respective value of the x array and y array are equal so you can do that here the same thing whatever i have explained true if x and y have the same key value plus in the same order and of the same type and here it checks for the inequality and here this is also another inequality symbol already we have seen like uh, this is nothing but our relational operator and here no non-identity now we'll see uh, some invalid expressions so for example 5 equal to dollar value this is not valid because to the left hand side only the variable has to come not to the right hand side whereas this is reverse so if it is written like the dollar value equal to 5 then it is okay but here the value cannot be assigned to the left then 
here this is also wrong why because dollar a plus dollar b the expression cannot be assigned to the left here expression is there whereas in this side variable uh, that is assignment variable if it is dollar c equal to dollar a plus dollar b then it is okay but here to the left hand side expression should not come to the left hand side the value should not come so to the left hand side only the variable name to the right hand side only any expressions can be done or any value can be assigned so dollar value equal to 5 now this is correct the same way this is also correct